So um, can you tell the audience um, maybe what you have done recently to help a home buyer purchase a home, like kind of the set of steps that you went through? Yeah, we do, we do get a lot of uh, clients from you and we're grateful for that. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of the people that we do get do a tremendous amount of research online and actually specifically look for an exclusive buyer agent. So we love when people come and inter interview with us to see if we're going to be the right person to work with. And um, we always advise them that they should speak to a few different agents and do an interview so that they can find the right person to work with because of their qualifications and also their personality. Not everyone gels together and it's important. You're going to be working as a team and you want to have that team spirit when you're going and looking at houses and, and doing this whole process together with them to, to, to meet their goal. Um, we, we love to sit down, get interviewed, answer all the questions that the buyer has, and then I like to take time <laughs> and ask my buyer a lot of questions when I'm meeting with them for the first time. Um, I, sh I go over the entire New York State disclosure form with them, which um, needs to be explained because it's, it's a little bit complicated and not everyone understands it. Um, and that goes kind of across the country from what I've seen. But a lot of people don't really understand what dual agency means. Or so what is an ex disclosure form for what, what purpose? So what is a disclosure form? So it, a disclosure form is, is disclosing the, the different types of agency that an agent and broker can work with a buyer or a seller. Okay. So in New York, it's confusing. It's actually, there's five different ways. But we do go over it so that they fully understand um, and see the benefits of, of having a buyer's agent over using one of the other forms of agency. Then we also go over a buyer agent agreement with them so that they understand that they're working with us and that our office and the agent that they're working with is going to work with them exclusively throughout the process to help them find the right, the right home, get them as much information as possible so that help them negotiate and come up with a strategy so that they can get the house, especially right now where we have a market where you can get a bidding war with five different offers on a house. So we work really hard and we explain on how we package our, them as our buyer client so that they stand the best chance of getting the house. And, um, you know, we just talk about the entire process, uh, getting attorneys, home inspections, the importance of having a good home inspector, because, you know, we're here not to be a salesperson. We are here to be a professional service to help you find the right house to get you as much information as possible, negotiate on your behalf, save you time. And tell us, Laura, about the exclusive buyer agent part of that. What, what is that as different from, say, just a, a buyer agent? Yeah, so I actually do always have to explain that to people because they don't realize what that, that means. Um, and it means that as an exclusive buyer agent, we do, we only represent buyers. That is all we do. We never have a conflict of interest because we don't take any listings and we don't represent any sellers. So let me understand that. So if I came to you and said, Laura, I love you because you helped me buy my million dollar house and now I want to sell it, what, what would you do in that case? So I can help you to find the right listing agent and I would do a referral on it. And you know what, Kathleen, it's, it has happened and it was on like a $4 million house once, okay? <laughs> but that's not my area of expertise and that's not what we do. We strictly only work with buyers. We are totally specialized and dedicated to helping buyers. I mean, 
we, we truly put our buyers ahead of ourselves in this office. 